Oh, <laughs> not that dumb. Oh, I only have one good color left, but it's very good. I have change color too. I only have one color. If you walk in towards I see it. I do know where my cup is. Yellow jeans. I'm having That's not instructions. <laughs> I need to get plain. Hey y'all, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. We are back for vlog number two in the office and we're still in the process of moving, y'all. It has been a journey. This is crooked. Why I thought it would take me like two weeks to be like completely ready to go, I have no idea. But I do have to say this is vlog two, week two, start of week three of reopening the Etsy shop. I'm opening very limited amounts of items. I did make about 50 binders. I'm gonna show you guys some clips and mail out maybe 30 or 40 orders. So I have been working in the shop. I have been very busy getting some orders out, creating some new things for you guys. We have about 32 open orders right now. So in the last couple weeks we've gotten, I don't know, maybe 70 orders or so. So in the journey of kind of vlogging this and doing this, what we're doing right now, is I would love to show you guys the journey of starting or restarting Etsy. I have been on Etsy for a couple of years. This has been my primary income, but I really shut everything down. I have not been ordering new things. I have created very limited new things. So this is just me trying to get back on track with creating. Let me actually show you guys over here. This is what launched this week. I hope the lighting is okay and you guys can see, but it is the 5,000 savings challenge. It really does not want to focus because the lighting is not spectacular over there. We are going to work on it. There we go. It is this 5,000 savings binder. It has a 5,000 savings challenge tracker and it comes with 50 of these 100 tracker cards, right? And then there's got to be a better way to film y'all. There has got to be a better way, but <laughs> it comes with these divided sleeves. So you put the cards in there. That is the new item that just launched. And the other thing that we put back in stock is our 52 week savings binder. This has been very popular in my shop for a while. So I relaunched a bunch more of those. Can you see now again, hot mess, but I did make a bunch of these reindeer like Christmas binders. Here's all the trackers and the inserts that go on the inside of it. So that is what I worked on a lot last week and that is a lot of what sold and what is I need to fill in those 32 open orders. Here's more of these 5,000 savings binders up here. But point is, y'all look how just like pure chaos all of this is. I set it up last week and then I think I told y'all too, I lost a printer in the move. So I did purchase another printer. So we will have two printers down here soon. A lot of what's even up here though is like, there's homeschool stuff up here and there's just like random 
things that have accumulated and here's like my cutting mats they don't even have the protective film on them it's just a hot mess right so i'm saying that and showing you guys that to show you that is what i really want to work on tonight now i have entered late night crew i'm considering myself third shift these days <laughs> because i have been working at night so much lately it has been working great because the kids get to sleep while i'm out here working i did talk a little bit in a recent cash stuffing video that i'm really working on getting their homeschool stuff changing around their curriculum so i can focus less on their schooling and work more during the day that's not where we're at right now though right now we are <laughs> our schedule has been working late at night so it's like 10 o'clock and i'm just getting started in the shop for the day so we're gonna see what we can squeeze in before i like completely tire out but i already know we're gonna start with cleaning up the shop setting up the printer which always takes way longer than i think it's going to and once we've cleaned this at least some like let's get on the right track with cleaning this office space i can show you guys how i have organized it and then we can work on packing those 32 orders together going to do our best to ignore this side of the room a lot of this is either personal stuff that has just kind of snuck its way into the convenient shelves right here or it is actual products it's just kind of overstock and it needs to go to the garage i do have some of my work stuff out in the garage it is somewhat organized but that is a whole different project for a whole different day i actually think too this stuff is going to stay here tonight. It's just gonna to have to be what it is. I want to show you what we did get organized. There's a ton of blank space and blank shelves now, which is great. It gives us room to add new products, but let me show you how I have this organized. Starting all the way at the far left, left, <laughs> at the far left of the shelves. So I do have three shelving units, as you can see. So all the way over to the left is basically finished product. Oh y'all, the lighting is terrible. I'm so sorry. We're gonna work on this as time goes by <laughs> and hopefully film during the day in the future. But just a quick little overview. You can see at the top, we do have the 52 week, which we have a lot of 52 week binders right now. And then the 5,000 savings challenge, that's what I just launched on Friday and then right below it we do have some products a lot of this is not even listed in the shop right now and then there is some more space empty bins there for future projects and then our monthly binders which are really popular in the shop right now so like they are organized in here when we make may probably tomorrow it's going to go under here so this whole shelf is going to be the monthly binders and it's organized to basically where like this is february February binder stuff takes up three of the little shelves here. So that shelf is going to eventually be full of the monthly binders. And then below that, I didn't set up the new printer yet, but it's basically on at the very bottom is different paper options. And then there's two printers right there. So most of this is empty right now in this middle shelf. Right now, I only do size A6 binders. Everything my shop has always done has been A6. We are getting more sizes though within the next month not right away because it takes the manufacturers a while to like for me to get it takes me a while to get product from the manufacturer but a lot of this space is going to stay cleaned out and ready to go for the new sizes that we're introducing soon this space is the empty space and then right next to it here right next to my desk is the i don't know i had just a bunch of different things going on before but now it is do you have an extra computer that i hook up to one of the cutting machines so that i don't have to toggle between screens i recently figured out i think i need silhouette pro so that i don't have to do all this toggling mess and get more get more computers however i think i'm going to switch towards more print shop and manufacturing items and getting my stuff professionally printed so i can move away from the printing and the cutting myself that's kind of a long-term goal it's not like the immediate future it is cheaper for me to print and cut myself however if I want to grow and do more products like I would like to I really need to free up more time so again a discussion for another day but I don't think I will be getting more cutting machines or laptops that's at least not 
the direction I think I'm going. So I should need more room for this as far as the laptop space and then the two cutting machines. I do have a bunch of cutting mats here. And then on top, you cannot see it, but I will have all of my different binder styles, at least the A6 styles, will be up here. Now they are in the garage, and like I said, it's probably almost midnight by now, so I don't wanna go play around in the garage. I will get some binders out of the garage tomorrow and put them up there, the A6 size that I already have. We have a little shipping shelf here, so all of my packing materials fit on that shelf for now. And then down below here, a lot of my current products are a very thick plastic see-through cover. I have a lot of products that use these different disc sizes. I use two different sizes right now. That is a big part of the current and upcoming products I'm using. So I have a whole shelf just dedicated to that. And when I am putting them together, I anticipate just getting out a small table and being able to lay out all of the different binders, put them together, and then I can put them back away. I do have the 32 orders that I would like to fill tonight. So it is Sunday. These orders have come in from Friday afternoon through now, through Sunday night. So I want to get all of them done so that I can ship them off first thing in the morning. Okay, it is currently 1 a.m., but we are order free or order caught up. I don't know what I'm saying. We're gonna <laughs> ignore the mess back there as well. But we are caught up in order, so that feels good. I have a whole bag to bring to USPS tomorrow. And I do have a new design to print and cut. I was initially going to do a new launch every other Friday at noon, but I think for a time we will do a launch every single Friday at noon while we build up our stock. Like while I put, I don't know what this is. <laughs> while I put kind of um, restock and relaunch some old things and create new things, like I just need to build up what is here. Obviously, again, there's like hardly anything over there in our little stockpile, right? Well, I made the mistake of moving this. Now it doesn't want to go back. So I do have a new design that is launching this Friday, this coming Friday at noon. If you want to get it, because I may not launch a ton of them. We're going to end this vlog here, but I will start filming again tomorrow and hopefully have a vlog come out either Thursday or Friday. Even if it doesn't come out that soon though, we're going to start a new vlog. So you guys in that video will see the new design. I will also be launching the May monthly binders similar to the other binder. I don't know that we will launch a ton of those. I can only do so much, right? I only have so many hours in the day, but I'm going to definitely be launching the May binder, the monthly binder, and a new 52 week envelope savings binder. So very excited about that. We will talk more about that in the next vlog though. That is it for this one. As always, thank you so much if you have spent the time hanging out with me. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys. I love you and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.